Good morning. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson. Welcome back. I had a wonderful vacation over the holidays and I hope that you did too and that you're feeling relaxed and ready for your day. One of the ways I get ready for my day is to be in devotion with the Lord. And today we're going to look at Proverbs 29 verse 12. It's short and sweet, but boy does it pack a wallop. If a ruler listens to lies, all of his officials become wicked. If a ruler listens to lies, all of his officials, or all of her officials, become wicked. I want you to imagine with me not being able to trust people who are the ones that you should be able to trust. Imagine there are people who want to turn you away from other people and try to dictate what the new narrative will be. I thought of the phrase, absolute power corrupts. Yep, absolutely. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. So as an, as an action, have you ever known someone who was a really good liar? They can spin a tale to their advantage and make it sound plausible. But the more time you spend with this person, the more holes you see in the tales that they spin. Doubt creeps into your mind and you do a little fact checking only to find out that you've been duped. It's a horrible feeling, isn't it? A feeling that goes to your very core. I think we've all been in that position before of being duped, especially by people that we thought we could trust. As an action, it's important to surround yourself with people that you can trust. Look into the person's business contacts. Find someone you can trust and find out the truth. When you're in business and you need to hire somebody to take care of some of your business, you've got to find that person that you can trust. Not someone who's going to fill you with lies and contemptuous thoughts. So when you're going to into the hiring process, or when you're even looking at your friends, listen to what they say. Weed out the corruption and sort through the stories that they weave. Make sure that you know what the truth is and encourage others toward the truth as well. If a ruler listens to lies, all of his officials become wicked. If a ruler listens to lies, all of her officials become wicked. That's really a boon for the truth, isn't it? May you live in the truth today, the truth of Jesus Christ, our Lord. I'll see you tomorrow. Amen.